Hi, Commitment 2014 coverage now. And if you're looking for a barometer to gauge the interest in the U.S. Senate race, how about, how about 7.1 million? That's the total number of dollars raised by Gene Shaheen and Scott Brown in just the last three months. And while Brown does have a small edge in that category, our WMUR Granite State poll reveals that he might need every cent of that to counter Shaheen's campaign machine. In a Senate race that threatens to chart new ground in political nastiness, Gene Shaheen now leads Scott Brown by six points with less than a month to go before Election Day. In August, the spread was down to two. And pollster Andy Smith says at that point, Shaheen's campaign had little choice but go negative. Shaheen's numbers at 47 percent, 48 percent are close to a ceiling for her. She really is going to have to work to, number one, make Scott Brown as unpopular as she possibly can uh, over the next month. And number two, says Smith, distance herself from an unpopular president that the Brown campaign relentlessly points out had Shaheen's backing 99 percent of the time. And there's a reason why she's gone so negative and using smear campaign against me because she knows she's in trouble. She can't defend you know, her votes. And while Shaheen herself waves off the latest poll numbers, she does defend a campaign that paints her opponent as an out-of-stater who is working for the interests of Wall Street. The poll that matters is the poll on Election Day. We're working very hard trying to point out to people what the differences are between Scott Brown and me and who's best going to work every day for New Hampshire. In a race where the numbers continue to shift, it may boil down to which party has the most energy on Election Day. And according to the numbers, Republicans hold the edge with 71 percent saying they are at least very interested in this election versus 63 percent for Democrats. And then there's perhaps the most important number in this poll. We still have 43 percent of voters still saying that they could change their mind between now and the election. So as we head into the final stretch, this poll indicates a lot of votes still out there for the taking. If you want a deeper look at the numbers, you can find them right now at WMUR.com.